Hello and welcome to another episode of Marla Plays. Rib for her pleasure, I'm Manuel. I am Perla. <laughs> oh my god. Hi, and we're going to keep playing Monster Prom Double XL. Yeah. Yes, and it is my turn to go first because ice cream does not for a good sex toy make. No, not a toy. No. Yeah. Okay. All right. yeah, first place. Yeah. And what do I get to do evening? Are we nerds still in the class and school? Apparently. In the evening? Gym, what? outdoors, library, class, auditorium. Class. I mean, maybe they're in the auditorium. Well, I don't think the drag race is going to be there. But let's have some fun. That day while rehearsing for the class play, it's, a thought, it, it's as though the muses themselves have descended to give you figurative oral sex. Damn. Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. Ooh, you gain plus two creativity. Nice. Nice. Good on you. It's my most highest stat. You're doing your thing when the wild Damien suddenly appears. Oh. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> goodness. Hey, you. You look like you have nothing better to do. No. I need a mount for the prom oh. because walking is for losers. Oh, mount me. <laughs> And also because I lost my driver's license after I drove my motorcycle through another Sunday school picnic. <laughs> but Bad I won't boy. take just any lame-ass mount. I need the best creature in hell. So let's brainstorm. If you don't answer in the next 10 seconds, I'm putting a bit in your mouth and writing you. Yes, please. I'll sit quiet. <laughs> We're taking hell here, so a goat. But it's not just any goat, but that's a real asshole. What about the giant gelatinous fitting? Those creature at your house that sits by and eats purchase. Yes. Oh, you mean the cradle of filth? That's not a creature. It's what we use to replace our swimming pool. Uh, Though, I could put it on wheels and arrive on it. Mm -hmm. Of course, I have to inform the superintendent not to bring anything flammable. Or no, wait. Everything's flammable. Everything flammable. No, bring everything flammable. Everything flammable. Make a mental note to bring a gas mask to prom. The fact that you're going despite the danger means you gain plus three boldness. Okay. Nice. That's me. Okay. Do I want... Wait, so you're going for the mermaid? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. Um, I don't need help. I don't need help. Okay. Um, check. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. The match is so intense, and both teams are so into it that you decide to raise the stakes by betting part of your charm against part of the other team's other team leader's charm. Uh -oh. That commitment amazes your whole team, and their spirit is fueled by determination. Finally, you win and take plus two charm from the other team's leader. She's now a little bit less fabulous. Oh my goodness. You're so charming, smart, and money. Oh my god. Nice. I am money. <laughs> Out of the corner of your eye, you spot Scott and Miranda staring intently at a, at a picture of a seahorse. This looks taller than a seahorse, Miri. What are you so worried about? This looks like a killer seahorse. Not taller. Oh, my bad. <laughs> this this does look like a killer seahorse, Miri. What are you so worried about? Well, you see, one of my daddy's subjects gave me this horse as a gift. And well, you've heard what they say, haven't you? Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. What? Who are they? Why do they say that? What's in there? This freaking face, I, I love it. I don't know. That's why I was so distraught. I'm terrified that I will accidentally look into this gift horse's mouth and see they're both dumb. They're both see what? beautiful. <laughs> Dull brained, <laughs> smooth brained individuals. Oh my god. See what? A gross butt? Another tinier horse? A world without sports? Huh? I don't know, and I don't want to find out. Oh, come on, Miri. You gotta find out. You gotta find out for. What's the thing Miss Ferratsu is always talking about? Miss Ferratsu. Science? Yeah, for science. You gotta, right? You realize <laughs> Scott's looking at you for your opinion? They both are. What do you think Miranda should do? Don't, Don't you ever look at gift horse in the mouse. In fact, breed it with sea urchins to produce horses with tiny mouths. Look, that gift horse right in the damn mouth. They only, they only say not to because they don't want to find all the delicious mouths. No, I, I want to produce right. tiny gift horses. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Miranda is clearly pleased by your suggestion. When you run into her the next day, all her previous anxiety seems to have gone. I 
took your marvelous suggestion to the logical next level. I had my father's genetic wizards combine my gift force with a sea urchin. What? Whatever horrible thing was lurking between those horse lips, they're now too tiny for me to see it. The horse is a little bit spiny now, but I think that just adds to his charm. Oh, that's, that's so cute. It's so cute. I can't tell he loves I can tell he loves it because of the deeply pained expression oh. in his tiny watery eyes. Oh my gosh. That works so well. You wonder why you don't solve all your problems with genetic manipulation. You get plus two creativity and plus one smarts. Nice. Nice, nice. Nice, 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 nice. I'm super smart. Yeah. Something happened too. Oh no. Ah! ah. I'm not that smart. And I'm not that bright. You're not even that money. Uh, shut up. <laughs> that weekend, you're at the movies when you receive a summons from Miranda. Ooh. Oh, thank goodness you came. You could come. Technically, Miranda's guards force you to meet with her, but you'd rather not split hairs. <laughs> I am contemplating the decision of extreme gravity. 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 <laughs> to <laughs> My I love. I am looking at titties. Um, to date Manuel or not to date? Yes. Are you... Please. As you are famed throughout the school as a wanton Lothario. I, oh my god. I thought I had best ask your advice. But please be sure to frame it in terms that I will understand. Something simple and straightforward. Please. In help short, me. I need you to tell me which item of silverware manual most closely resembles. What? Oh shit. Gilded trim tongs, exactly inlaid with diamonds and baby teeth. Bread. Um. You're bread, babe. Okay, go for it. But. No, 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 just go with your heart. It's fine. It's fine. Bread? Oh. You know that bread isn't silverware, right? Damn it! Unless, are you trying to tell me the manual is so crass you cannot imagine him them as any type of silverware? You're dead to me. I'm so You're sorry. dead to me. You're dead to me in this oh, entire world. No, I'm so sorry. I thought it was supposed to be a dumb answer because she's dumb. You know, I'm so sorry about my the, ha the high pitchedness. I really feel bad. Okay. You know, father always says there are two types of people in this world, silverware people and bread people. I wouldn't debase myself by concerning with lonely Uncle Bros' fleet, the very idea. In fact, I'll have my men apprehend Manu and slather him in butter that will teach him not to be silverware. Well, it uh, looks like Manuel probably uh, won't get the girl, but at least he will get to be slathered in butter. I'm so sorry. You're gained so plus sorry. one creativity. Oh, no. No, I did not know. Let's trade places. Uh, Everybody chooses an occupation, so your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Pie maker. Oh. Uh, Sounds mean baker, then? Pie maker. Okay, pie maker. Um, lawyer. <laughs> like, I said what I said. Oh, I said you. Bread. You, you. That's me. Player order is decided based on how funny a TV show called America's Next Pie Baker or America's Next Lawyer would be. Start debating now. Um, America's Next Lawyer. That sounds pretty funny, though, with all the cases. That sounds there. pretty boring, if you ask me. America's Next Pie, pie Baker? Maker. You mean. Um, you mean all America's the cooking Next shows Great ever? Baker? Yeah, you mean all yeah, the cooking we, shows we, ever? We have gone through that. And that's why they're have, so popular. We have sucked that teat dry. Fine. No, okay. No, yeah, no, no, your choice. No, no, no. This is what it's we your choice. We only have. Uh, I, for okay, two no, people. no, no, no. I let you go first because I fucked up for no, you. No, it doesn't matter. We're gonna both go matter. either way. Uh, go fine, I'll go first. Pick me. Or we should have just done random, actually. Oh. Damn it. Well, that was an option. Okay. I got two more weeks uh, to win her heart. It's fine. I got two more weeks to win her heart. It's is fine. she really your only choice? No, but I want her. Though. Okay, okay. I was just wondering. I was just wondering. Um. I wonder, well, I wonder if by the decision that she's made right now, it means like she won't be an option anymore. <clears throat> that day, while rehearsing for the class play, you aren't ex especially good nor inspired. For once, it seems you aren't getting the classic creativity boost from the auditorium. But afterwards, while talking to your classmates, you're having trouble conveying your point in the discussion. So you decide to convey it through magic. You start singing it's and music, suddenly every... Dumbass. Music. You start singing and suddenly everyone else joins you in a kick-ass musical number. You it's and so amazing for each other. that the people with whom you were arguing totally get your point and change their minds once the song is over. You gain plus two creativity. <clears throat> uh... Afterwards, Miranda summons you. It feels weird to be summoned, but you comply. You can't resist her mermen goons. Thank you for coming, my dear. I have finally decided to trust you with my most important aspiration. I am destined to be the queen of prom! 
The real ascension is hot night. We must prepare. Most of my competition is naive. They foolishly assume that prom queen is purely ceremonial title. Except Ursula Jr. She's proving to be quite a worthy rival. I respect that. Which is why we must destroy her reputation immediately. Any thoughts? Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> destroy. What are you, what's your thought process right now? I think this. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't take much to make someone look bad in this day and age. You, however, are monsters oh. and went for a total overkill. You hire a Chinese hacker to plant 10 years of pro bono work to plant 10 years of pro bono work rescuing human babies from lawnmowers in Ursula's name. At recess, Dr. Baby Love of the Baby Love Institute appears oh. out of nowhere and presents her with a Humanity Award. Yes! <laughs> this will seriously harm her standing with the evil lawnmower creature contingent! That's an important voting block, <laughs> apparently. They're the ones who keep the schoolyard so tidy. You get plus two bonus and plus one smarts. <sighs> okay, she doesn't seem to hate me. That day during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. Damn. Oh, I wish. You have no idea how it is so much, but at one point there, there are like 300 people. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. <laughs> the mm -hmm. consequences might disrupt the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party. Nice. You gain plus two fun. I wish I had plus two fun. Mm. Ah, Damien's just minding his own business, clotheslining people, when suddenly a loud siren goes off above, up above you. It's the Slayer. She's on the roof of the school, holding a megaphone. She's looking right at Damien. Who's Slayer? What's up, ball sack? Put this in your horn and smoke it. Your mama's so fat when she possesses someone, they don't need an exorcism. They need liposuction. Oh. Damn. Oh, yeah? Well. Well. Damien's Dam stuck. It's up to you to figure out a comeback. You lean over and whisper in his ear. Mom's so poor, she can't even sell her soul because she's only red. Thank <laughs> you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, your mom is so poor, she can't even sell her soul because she's only renting it. Your mom is so dumb, she thinks a hell mouth is what you get if you suck too much dick. <laughs> your mom is so ugly, she lost a beauty contest to a girl from The Exorcist. Your mom is so cursed, she. All right. All right. All right. I get it. Okay, I quit. The Slayer runs off to search the internet for comebacks, but it's too late. <laughs> Damien's already won. You gain plus two bonus and plus one fun. You got a lot of fun. Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice. Everybody chooses something cool. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Ice. Tattoos. Player was decided based on how crazy it would be if 100 years from now the selected thing becomes a new world currency. Start debating now. Ice. Ice tattoos, though. Ice because it just melts away. <laughs> you would have no money ever. <laughs> how crazy would it be? Okay, you're right. I can see. Yeah. I need it. <laughs> Wait, <it's clears> until <throat> noon. So much is going on. Ooh, now where do I go? Oh. Hey, we're gonna end up sitting in the same table, probably. Where do I go? Let me see. Okay, hold on. Um, I'll be right back. Let's read my lines right here. Uh, who do I pick? Who do I pick? Hurry! Uh, I'll pick her. You find Polly and Scott huddled at your chosen table. If these two are together, it can only mean one thing. I hereby call this meeting of the Prank Masters to order. Oh, wait. I hereby call this meeting of the Prank Masters to order. I had to redo that little tidbit. Prank Master Howl, President accounted for. I don't know how you do this voice. And Mango's back. I'm back from potty break. All right. So. Yes, yeah, so this is the prank table, apparently. Prank Master Howe, present and accounting for. Chairman Geist, all dressed up and ready to prank. Wait, how did I do her voice? Uh, uh, it's kind of like... Um, a slow one, right? High, yeah, and yeah, slow. Yeah. Okay, okay. Hey, how come you get to be chairman? Well, which one of us can throw chairs around the room with our ghost power? Well, I don't have ghost power, so... Oh, you! I get it, chairman, but... <sighs> 
No time to argue, Scott. We got to come up with a baller food prank before the end of lunch. Oh yeah. Okay. What if we ate all our food like good, like a good boy? Is that a prank? No, Scott. For the last time, that's not a prank, and I don't eat. But I am having trouble coming up with another idea. Anybody else? You've been waiting all your life for an opportunity like this. You propose the ultimate fruit prank. What? Mmm. Uh, I like him. I like him a lot, though. Okay. Eat other people's food? You can do that? Well, I can't. But I can? Even if it's on somebody else's plate? Even if it's in somebody else's tummy? No, no Scott, stop. Exactly. Half of that was right. Which half? Oh, no no time to figure it out. We got a prank now while the prank is good. Wait, what about me? Food falls right through me. But you and Scott are already blazing a trail through the cafeteria, gobbling everything in sight. Scott accidentally ah! eats a few people along with their food, but he politely burps them out when they complain. Oh, thank God. By the time school security kicks you two out, you're both totally stuffed with food and affection Ooh. for each other. Yeah. It's your turn. No sooner have you sat down at Damien and Miranda's table that a haunting melody fills the air. It's a melody of cold northern peaks, of glowing sweetness, and of a supple bovine teeth. The song of the ice cream wizard. <laughs> the ice cream wizard! He's here. He's here. I'm gonna eat so much ice cream and then puke on someone I don't like. Oh my god. Why do I want him? <laughs> oh god. Oh goodness, the ice cream wizard only comes but once per solstice during that hour of the Ascendant Pancake. What? Oh my god, no. But like, okay, honestly, like, the, the hotness of him is like wearing off because of what he's saying. <laughs> I don't regret my decision. He's a demon, what did you think? I don't fucking know. Uh, just keep it going. <laughs> Can't regret your choices. <laughs> no, I don't regret them <clears throat> that's per se, but I do question them. You see an old dude in a floppy blue hat pushing a refrigerator cart with this shit magic <laughs> painted on the side. Oh, so many great options to choose. Should I get a magma bar? Brain destroyer? Chocolate broomstick? Brain destroyer. What about fear of death? Frozen cobra? Berserker berry blitz? The wizard's frozen treats invariably turn me into a frog for some reason. Perhaps I simply have not tried the right one yet. But which to try? If only someone would suggest a solution to what is truly the most difficult problem I have ever faced. Mm. Ah! Mm. Oh, which one? Oh, Damien's probably gonna do this mm. one. Boy, let's not whip away. I am fun. Is it fun? Uh, <laughs> damn it! How boorish! I would have been so mad if you moved in on my girl. I'm like, oh, oh, oh how oh, dare oh, you! I didn't even realize that was not that was impossible. Then, okay. Did someone say bull rush? <sighs> no, I said boorish, as in lacking social. Ah, oh, I see. You did not mishear me after all, but we're simply looking for an excuse to beat up the ice cream wizard. Is she smart or is she dumb? Like, I'm really confused. It, it's she's royalty. That's what she is. <laughs> Chokes on you, Miranda. I'm never not looking for an excuse to beat up the ice cream wizard. <sighs> I like that face. Why do I like that face? <laughs> <laughs> Look at all this ice cream I got. This one lets you breathe on the water, and this one licks you. Uh, you brigand! You thief! I got you some sugar blasted prince lips. My reservations suddenly seem to have vanished. Good, because I want to try this popsicle. The stick is supposed to reveal how <gasps> I'm going to die. Who knew my death would involve so many bottlenose dolphins? Uh, to celebrate the ice cream heist, Damon takes you to the beach and doesn't even try to drown you. <laughs> oh my god, the bar is so low. <laughs> Everybody chooses a brand, say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking Apple. What? Apple? Apple. Oh, okay. Um, flaming Hot. Cheetos, got it. Player is decided based on how silly a mascot for the selected brand would be if the selected brand already has a mascot compared to the imaginary mascot of the other brands. Start debating now. I have Cheetah, Chester the Cheetah. I would have an apple. Technically, isn't your like, mascot like a human? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? I, I don't know. know. I don't know either. <laughs> um, what would you think of the mascot as for Applebee? I'm not sure. 
I, I honestly thought like a bitten apple. That's a brand logo. Yeah. Not the mascot. And the mascot of Hot and like the fucking Cheetos is a Chester Cheeto. Yeah. And he's on the fucking thing. Okay. You're not understanding my question. Fine, then you win. Okay, let's do random. No, 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 you win. Okay, cool. I win. Alright. I'm better. Alright, next one, Um, we'll, we'll okay. take a break after this. Okay. Or should we just take a break right now? Take a break right now before yeah. anything gets started right. and right, gets cool. a brewing. Cool, 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 cool. With cool. my boy, Damien. We're, we're going to start the next week. So hopefully next week I will have a prom date and you will have a prom date as well. And yeah. we will both be going to prom as buddies. Mm -hmm. My name is Manuel. My name is Perla. Thank you for joining us in another episode of Prom High XX. Monster High, Prox or Prom High. <laughs> Monster Prom High? Monster yeah. Prom XXL. Monster Prom XXL. Okay. Stay safe, stay not smiling, everyone. And confused. <laughs> Please subscribe. Bye.